If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, best by my thigh. 2K, friends I don't fly. Ooh, a monkey barrage. Uchi hot test on my highs. Yo, what's going on, people? It's hurt. Y'all did not expect me to come back this fast. Y'all thought niggas was lying. It ain't no way this boy finna come back and drop a back to back video. I told y'all, I feel my pocket. I feel my options. I feel my, my motherfucker. I, ooh, I got another breath out this motherfucker. Naruto Arena Beginner Guide Part 1. I'm not playing. Like, the niggas gonna fuck with this game, bro. I'm not playing. You gonna fuck with this game. Like, I got a gun to your head through the internet. You gonna fuck with this game. So, with no further ado, let's talk over the Beginner's Guide. What I'm gonna do in the Beginner's Guide Part 1, I'm always, throughout the entirety of the Beginner's Guide, I'm gonna use the beginner characters. Alright? And what we're gonna do is just discuss certain strategies. Certain uh, 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 actual things that occur throughout the game. And also my opinion on certain things that occur throughout the game. Through my experience through repeatedly playing. Alright? With no further ado. Let's. Oh, how how, how that, uh, that that white black rapper say? Aesthetic. 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 Alright. Here we are. So like I said, we're going to do. The beginner's guy. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about, all right, I actually kind of got me a little draft list of things because there's so many things on this game that you can actually hit on. The first thing I want to talk about is a team synergy and skills, right? So if you look throughout the characters, each character is going to have a certain uh, colorway. I want to cast this use colorway. You're going to have a certain colorway for their skills. And the colorway is always going to be one of four colors, green, blue, red or white and here we go one more time for you guys i talked about a little bit in the last video green uh essentially mean curtis will use taijutsus curtis who's going to get more close up on you to finish you off you have ninjutsu users ninjutsu or curtis will just i ain't gonna lie they just it, it, it's it's more of an array from Ty, uh ninjutsu users is more about anything it can be close up or right or far away you know what i mean and then you got uh, bloodline characters, which would be someone like, uh, let me show you a bloodline character, actually, guys. We got a bloodline character in Zaku, someone who, who, who moves or are attached to their genetics. And last but not least, we'll have Genjutsu users. And anyone who actually knows Naruto would know who I'm going to click on. It's going to be Eno. And then you can see, like, you see how that go? You see how she's all white and then randoms, right? You no know, whites and rats. Every person, and if you think of Kakashi, what you think Kakashi used, guys? If you said anything other than Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, you were wrong. You know what I mean? Young Kakashi is going to use Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, and then uh, Rakiris and, 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 and slashing you, hawking you the fuck up. Someone like Kankuro, guys. Kankuro, what do y'all think he uses? Because Kankuro don't beat y'all up with his hands. He don't use ninjutsus. He don't do genjutsu. And he also doesn't have bloodline traits. Someone like a Kankuro i be a random character. Someone who just you can use anything with at any point in time. So with no further ado, and that's going to be my little slogan right there for no further ado. That's when I move on to my next point. Um, we're going to put a team together. Um, I'm going to be using... Uh, Young Kakashi, uh, Ino Yamanaka, and we need a bloodline user, guys. So this is where y'all will be starting off at. So I'm going to use you, Shino Aburami. This is a good team that you guys can start off with. This will give y'all uh, an idea of the beginner's guide and how it's supposed to look. I don't know why it's taken. Why is it? Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to see any of those people. So that's one of my teams I use. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, Shino Aburame, Yamanaka Ino, and Young Kakashi, as I said. So we're going to go right into a battle, guys. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to go into a battle. It's supposed to work this time. A lot of times, guys, I get off this game and I just leave this up. And that's the only time. Like, whenever that happens, all you got to do is hit this refresh. So when I get into this game, I'm actually going to go to, like, all right, guys, here we go. Before we actually get into a match, what I want to talk to you guys about is right here. Um, There are four traits that... Uh, each character will be using, right? Five, really. 
You have bloodline, ninjutsu, taijutsu, and genjutsu are the, uh, recognized as reds, blues, greens, and whites. That's what most people say. Like, damn, I ain't got no reds. I ain't got. Then nobody's ever going to say, like, I don't have any. Ta-. Like, why would you ever say, I don't have any taijutsu? I mean, he's like, I ain't got no greens. You know what I mean? So, that's definitely one of the things you need to know. So, here we are. Um, they say right here. The chance to get a certain energy is 25% each, as there are four types. This means it's random, but you can also get multiple types of each one. Next to these four types, some skills require random energy, and the kind of energy can be a place with any of the types above, right? So that all that means is this little random, like the one, the random that I spoke to you guys about. I can't go window to window. Um, the one I talked to you guys about, uh, like, inst- let's say you got like four get, uh, or three bloodline users on your team. If you had like two bloodline users, like you can use a setup. The setup can take one of these, and let's say you got like some taijutsu, it'll take a taijutsu, and you can use substitute that for that random, right? Random just means you can use any of those aforementioned chakras. So here we are, guys. Um, we're going to get into a match. Well, uh, this is basically assembling your team, showing you why you should be using certain characters, why you should be avoiding using certain characters aligned with another character that's just like that. And that's going to be the gist of this. Like, the number one thing, like I was saying, about not using three bloodline uses. Let's say I had Shino, Zaku, and I don't know, just uh, just for, for the sake of the discussion, I'm trying to get someone else to use it right. Like, like uh, another Aburame. Oh, this is actually going to be a crazy one. Um, we're gonna stun him off the rip. The heck, the Camacho man, Randy Savage. Uh, see that? How that synergized right there? How the reason? The reason you want as many characters diversified on your team as far as the chakra outputs because it gives you more options. Now imagine like how I just didn't have any reds. Now imagine if my team was filled with reds just now. I'm, I, uh, you know what I mean? Uh. I'd be fucked. I would I would literally be able to not attack. I would just be sitting there and like how this guy right here, and if you notice, that's a common theme. Most people usually stick to their chakra, uh, chakra balances. You see that guy at the top using greens and uh, I think greens and randoms down bottom and in the middle, blues, and then at the bottom, bottom, red and white. See? So now he even can do a counter for the one blue. I'm going to see if I can touch him up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to lower his damage. It's actually not looking like a good one. I just really want to, I mean, it don't mean I was going to win or anything. It's all about the chakra synergies and all. But what I'm really trying to show you guys is when assembling your team for the final time, have a good balanced output. And another level to that is actually having, like, this team isn't as good as it looks. This is a beginner team, which is why I'm losing to a team like this. Like, But, like, where's my extra destructible defense? Why didn't I use someone like Jerobo? But I don't. But at this point, I wouldn't have someone like Jerobo. But Jerobo is a very good card. He uses greens and blues, and he steals uh, Chakra for the blue. He steals Chakra for the red. Now, if you use them two and you use someone like uh, Yoroko Aora, right? I think that's his name. He steals a uh, chakra for the greens. And now you got a you know chakra thief team. He most definitely did a counter, which would be his mistake. I'm just gonna um, counter that. I'm just gonna do a little blick of the block. And I'm block, y'all, and I block, y'all, and I big the block, 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 y'all, and I big 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 blick the block, blah, blah, blah. I blick the block and I block. So I think I'm back in control of the game out for that one because I need him to stun Kakashi, which I think he actually will. Doesn't matter because now I'm going to stun this fucking uh, Kojinko guy. I hope he uses his stun this time. If he uses his stun, that's the best thing that can happen for me. For us. Just the two of us. Oh. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here. He did the stun, which is beautiful. Leaving me free to stun him and steal some chakras. I like to steal chakras. So now I took it and take I've taken that guy out the game. Stolen chakra. I can now down. I might even be in control. All over again. It depends if you kill my Kakashi. If you kill my Kakashi, it's a loss. I think this is enough basically to tell you guys. Like I think I um next video we're definitely oh, it's over. He did the worst possible thing. How much destruction would he five unpierceable? Damn it. He knew I was going to kill him. That's cool. I'm in a position. 
Because he does affliction damage. Both of them, I think. Let's build some DD. See if I can't get this man killed. We're going to save a red for some chocolate or DD. So the only person that can attack is one guy. He's going to kill one of them, depending on, maybe. Maybe he'll kill one. I think he does affliction damage. That's another type of team you can build, a team of all affliction. You don't, so here go the things, guys. I'm going to actually end this video. I'm not going to make you go through the whole fight. So here go the things one more time. Um, I surrender, actually. I lost that one. There was no point in even standing. I didn't even care about that match. Um, so, like, I so like how that team, so if I was beginner, like the best probably beginner team I recommend for you guys to get you a lot of wins. You get a lot of utility and good stuff out of Dosu. No. See, I usually recommend people that just start be a hit everybody team, which is Tamari, Ten Ten, and Zaku. And yeah, premise is really just trying to. You don't ever really have to do this until you feel like it. But just keep like, oh, but don't if you don't like don't use your last rib and smack them with that twenty five. Repeatedly do that while you doing these, hitting them with these every turn. And then you do that while that cooldown going off. It's about time you do this. You set up and you do that. Reduce that damage for two turns while you doing that. And then you just rotate the moves like. But that's it. That's all I got. I think I'm hurting. Hurting. Okay. Oh, do it. I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nato a rightness. Bounce like shit. I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spasm square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip.